What's up everybody, Tactical Turtle Neck here, and today I have done it. I have connected the bad sword swinging Knights Templar to Count fucking Chocula. What? That is right, we are tracing a chain of events that starts with holy wars and ends with diabetes. So grab your holy grail of coffee, add some whiskey, and prepare for my autism. First stop, the year 1119. The Knights Templar are founded, and they are not your run-of-the-mill monks. These dudes are the original holy badasses. Think of them as a medieval SWAT team with a side hustle in banking. They're out there fighting for Christ and stacking cash, creating a medieval version of a bank that even your overdraft obsessed ass would kind of envy. They are so good at it that kings and nobles trust them with their treasure. And by treasure, I mean enough gold to make a Bitcoin bro absolutely weep. <laughs> Fast forward to 1307 and King Philip IV of France is broke as fuck. The guy owes the Templars more money than you owe in student loans. And so he does what any logical person would do. He uh, accuses them of heresy, arrests them, has them killed and steals their fortune. Them commies kind of like calling your landlord a witch and then raiding your fridge because you can't pay. I'm broke, okay? Philip's bullshit dismantles the Templars, but their banking methods spread all over Europe, which lays the foundation for modern capitalism. Skip ahead a few hundred years and Europe is now rolling in dough, literally and figuratively. The Industrial Revolution kicks off in the 18th century and thanks to those medieval money hacks, factories are sprouting up faster than OnlyFans pages today. Text a pic of my vagina. Suddenly, people aren't just making swords and candles, they're churning out everything from steam engines to processed food. Speaking of which, people are also way too busy to cook. So breakfast cereal is born. It is convenient, it's fast, sugar-coated, and it gives you diabetes. We're grimly and I've had diabetes for about 20 years. Basically the opposite of everything that the Templar stood for. And then we hit 1928. General Mills is formed, merging a bunch of mills into one big corporate fucking behemoth. They get into the cereal game, and in 1971, they unleash Count Chocula on the world. Don't be scared. I'm the super sweet monster with the super sweet new cereal, Count Chocula. And their pitch? A chocolate vampire that wants you to eat him every morning. It is a brilliant marketing move because what kid wouldn't want a vampire that looks like he escaped from gay German BDSM club on their breakfast table? But the best part, General Mills somehow manages to channel their inner Templar. And in 2000, they decide to put CD-ROM Bibles in cereal boxes. That is right, some absolute genius in the marketing department was pretty much like, hey, you know what this bowl of chocolate, marshmallows, and diabetes needs? The New Testament, because nothing says eat your breakfast like a side of eternal salvation. This stunt naturally goes down faster than a young actress in a Weinstein office, <laughs> and parents lose their shit. Critics go nuts, and General Mills has to backpedal faster than Bill Clinton caught with his pants down. They are forced to yank the Bibles out of the boxes and issue a public apology. It's like they tried to sprinkle a little bit of ancient religious guilt over the cereal empire and ended up with a PR disaster that even the Pope would say, what the fuck? What the hell? So there you fucking have it. The Templars go from being badass warrior bankers to getting totally shafted by King Philip who pulls the OG Karen move and steals all their shit, which somehow sets the stage for the Industrial Revolution to start cranking out processed food faster than your drunk uncle can shotgun a beer. And then General Mills in the year 2000 looks at Count Chocula and thinks, you know what this chocolate vampire needs? Jesus. It's a fucking insane sugar-coated Bible-beating roller coaster that connects sword-swinging knights and a vampire gay BDSM serial dude to save your fucking soul at breakfast. Somehow that makes perfect sense. If you enjoyed this unholy mashup of history and sugary breakfast bullshit, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and let me know what historical fuckery you would like me to connect next. And I'm actually going to go, and no, I'm not going to make cereal. I eat steak and eggs with chalky milk. 
like a fucking adult. I'm playing the game I'm in disguise Why do I sit